Hey folks, it's Randy Burgoyne at impactization.com. I just got off the phone with a client that had uh, just some quick questions and I thought this would be a good thing to put into a video. And it's a few secrets of how to troubleshoot your computer before you call tech support. Uh, just some ideas that you can do that might save you time and pain and maybe even money if you're, you know, you've got to pay for your tech support. But um, some of them are kind of silly and bear repeating over and over again. First thing to do is to reboot your device. Whether you've got a computer, a smartphone, a Mac, an, an iPad, uh, whatever it is, uh, a Windows computer especially, if you've got an issue and you can't explain it, reboot the computer. Now it could be that that reboot solves some sort of a memory issue or there's just too many applications open that just gives Windows or Mac OS or your whatever operating system you're using a chance to reset and recalibrate and start working. 60 to 70 percent of the time that's all you need. Now don't be afraid to reboot a second time. Now and if it comes up and says updating and whatever just wait. Let it do the updates. Don't interrupt those updates or you can cause more problems. But it could take two or three reboots to get that kind of thing taken care of. Um, second thing is remove any newly added devices. So if you've plugged in something USB, um, you've added a case to your phone or your iPad, sometimes those can press a button just a little bit the wrong way. So removing the case, removing any extra devices, and rebooting might help it as well. Uh, third thing is remove any newly added software that you've added. If you've added apps, um, new application, whatever, um, just undo what you just did. And in, in, uh, in a future video, maybe we'll show on how, how to restore your device to a previous state if you've got that or reset the factory settings uh, those type of things. Um, is your device full? Is your memory full? Um, one problem I had with a client is that the hard drive was full. Couldn't do anything. You'd reboot and it'd work for a minute and then it would freeze and just uh, have trouble running anything. And the hard drive was full. Uh, so delete old data, old photos off of your phone, your device. Uh, make sure you've got a backup though. You want to back it up to you know Google Photos, uh, iCloud, whichever the case may be. Now I'm going to show you another trick. This is the last one for this tip. There's lots of other things we could do, but uh, for you know self troubleshooting, here's some things that you can do. Uh, you might get a pop up. Yeah, sometimes it's a malformed website that just locks you out, and all you see is warning. Your computer is infected. Well, this, these are scams. These are hoaxes. These are phishing, fraud, whatever you want to call them. They're trying to steal your personal information. They come in a lot of different formats. Some of them pop up with a very Windows looking screen claiming to be Microsoft. Um, others are just plain text. Uh, now, there's some that will come up and say, your device has been encrypted. Everything has been locked. Now, it may or may not be encrypted, but if you do anything on that page, like click yes or call or back to safety or anything, you're going to actually enable that virus or that issue. So here's what you do. Control, Shift, Escape on a Windows computer. This is... Uh, Sorry, this doesn't necessarily apply to any other operating system, but under Windows, Control Alt Escape pops up the task manager. And lo and behold, look, I've got 21 Chrome windows open. One of those that maybe I was browsing is probably locked up. If I can expand those, I can see all of those. And I can close them one at a time, which might do the trick, but it's easier just to click on the top one and say end task. Boom! It's gone. 
And if it was just the first part of a warning or a malformed website, it's gone and you're, you're fine. But you still probably want to reboot your computer and uh, do some things there to make sure that it's, there's, it's not in memory anymore. So anyway, uh, Randy Burgoyne at impactization.com. Please share, like, subscribe and everything and enjoy impactization. Thanks.